Thank you for watching Meet Sauce Amani. I'm Matt Montgomery. He's Paul Meat Sauce Lambert. You return after a hiatus. Yeah. You had to take a week off. Yeah. Week Vacation off. Vacation yeah. or? No, I have to work. I know you were working. Gig, yeah. It was the, uh, the the Thursday night deal. So since you and I were, were last together, the Vikings have gone 0 2. Do you think that we have anything to do with that? No, I just think they're not a very good football team. I mean, just Great analysis. Bad. I mean, they're just bad. The defense sucks. I don't know, man. I'm worried about them. Really? Yeah. They don't. I mean, Thursday they looked horrible. The week before that, they lost to Buffalo. Yeah. That's, you can't lose to Buffalo. That's the one that I think was the shocker. Yeah. I think the Rams was okay. Yeah. I think the Bills was just a stunner. I think that's what's left a, a bad enough taste where people are still doubting the team. Even though they had a good performance in L.A., they scored 31 points. Yeah, and it was weird during that game in L.A. where multiple times a lot of us were going, when have we ever said in the past couple of years, let's hope the defense can make a stop? Yeah. You never have to say that. Right. You basically are going, well, I hope the offense can at least get a field goal. Some points. You've never thought, well, let's hope the defense can make a, can make a stop. They couldn't. Now, granted, that, that L.A. Rams team is an arena league football team, but yeah, they're uh, arena league a, as in they throw the ball they all just, over the place. They're, they're they up the and down in the field. Yeah. 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 Um, so we are at the we are done with the first quarter of the season. One, Man, time two, flies. and one. Uh, what Is it October? You, yeah. Have you had to rake leaves yet, or are you living in your uh, yeah your palatial estate? Your uh, you don't, don't have to do yard work. In I your, mow, I've mowed the lawn in my entire life once. Really? I hired out a neighbor kid to do it. Then my ex-wife put bees in our yard, so he didn't do it. So then I hired it out, and then <laughs> I left. <laughs> when I was a kid, I did it one time for like 20 bucks and did half of it and quit. At home? Or obviously, did your this dad, body uh, don't do... No, they hired it out. So it was like I don't do your any house? No, but the one time, was it your house or was it neighbors? No, or? it was my, my parents' house. Yeah, and you said you quit. Yeah. You're, you're done. I still got paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't do manual labor. Yes, it is. It is fall. We're done with the first quarter. I don't get this back for yeah. working way, out. I, I should ask. I know we're, we want to talk Vikings, but I, I heard something happened with your back. Oh yeah, I, you uh, uh, you hurt yourself somehow. I was sitting in a chair, yeah. lean back, because you know I got a stressful life, and I'm like I you, should take a few <laughs> seconds off, and I just kept going. It sounded like a city bus crash. <laughs> when my did, did you tumble or just, I crack, just crack 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 right on the floor. You're My back's hurt ever since. Have you gone to a chiropractor? No. I'm going to one tomorrow. Really? Yeah, Monday. They're going to yep. diagnose it and uh, yep. take care of it. I don't know. It's a friend of my cousin, so I maybe go there and end up with like no money, and it looks like I walk off a, get off a horse after I leave, but if it fixes my back. <laughs> but if you feel better. I'll do anything. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, no, I'm fine. Thank you for caring. At the first quarter, how would you grade different positions? We'll start with Kirk okay. Cousins. I'll give you, do you want to give me your input first, or do you want a little bit of details? I'll give you my input. Go uh, ahead. What do you think? Do you want a cousins? letter grade? If, if you want to do it like a school, are you? Did, let me guess. Your midterm grades at uh, Minnetonka were were not good. It's the only place I ever ran in my childhood was to the mailbox to get the report card. To get it before your parents? Yeah. So your grades I were. I took algebra one my senior year of high school. And you still graduated. Yeah, barely. You've told me summer it's school. Just a shade you showed under up a decade. And they, they, All right. <laughs> you showed up for summer school, and they said, just, one day you're, you're done. Get yep. out of here. Yeah. That's great. I don't even know if I graduated high school. <laughs> really? Where's the yeah. diploma? I don't know. My you IQ's gotta... under 100. My sleep number's higher than my IQ. <laughs> but my I dad a, just laughed at that. I but I that. do have a Louis Vuitton wallet. There you go. So you're doing fine. Uh, so Kirk Cousins. I want it. Where would you, where would you grade uh, A, Kirk he's the Cousins. best player on the team. Yeah. He's the best quarterback. I mean, he, look, at, look at where Case Keenum's at. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't thrown a touchdown in three games. I know. He missed a wide open wide receiver. And so, Kirk Cousins is the best player on the team. Phenomenal. He, he's done everything right. To give you a little background, uh, 1,387 yards, third in the NFL right now. Uh, he is with Drew Brees, Jared Goff, and Matt Ryan in the top ten for completions, percentage, yards, and touchdowns. He's so phenomenal. he is one of the top four Correct. in the league, well worth all the money. Absolutely. And a, and a great teammate. Everybody loves him. Delvin Cook. Where do you stand on Delvin uh, Cook? Delvin's an incomplete because the offensive line is so bad and that hamstring's hurt. Incomplete? Yeah. You should be a teacher. I got See, a lot here of See, here I thought you were just going to give him like a pass, like a C and then no. give some, Incomplete. You know, incomplete. Yeah, I got a lot of those. He's missing work. Yeah, missing work. Uh, dozes off. <laughs> hits on all the pretty girls in class. That's what I did. Yeah. How'd that work for you? Uh, in high school? At the time? <laughs> I looked like Shrek got hit by Bigfoot. <laughs> it was not good. Not now good. I'm handsome. But, but you tried. Yeah, as I said. The effort. I have 
no education. I work three and a half hours a day, but I'll charm the GD pants off of you. I guarantee it. Yeah. You should have a t uh, commercial like that. I guarantee it. No, I, I'll charm the... the I'll wear a pants. wrinkled shirt on TV. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll still work for you. Thank you. Uh, how would you grade Adam Thielen? Would you grade Adam Thielen and Stefan Diggs together as a yeah. unit, or would you do them individually? Uh, I would do them individually. I'd give them both. I'd give Adam an A+. Mm -hmm. He's going to shatter the... Uh, I mean... If Michael Thomas is on an all-time streak with receptions. Yes. So is Thielen. Thielen's phenomenal. He never drops anything. He's kept him in a lot of games, some of the plays that he's made. He's wonderful. Same thing with Diggs. They're always open. They're always making elite catches when they have to, and they're always making clutch catches. Uh, how would you grade receivers other than those two? Uh, and I know that it, uh, in my mind it's, it is a steep drop-off. D's and F's. Yeah. I mean, Treadwell looked okay after he basically got yelled at. I mean, threatened to lose his job against yeah. Green Bay, and then Buffalo was, I don't even know, but and then in, in, in L.A. he had a couple of first downs, and he won yeah. maybe. I don't even know He's how many just, receptions. I mean, Too many drops, though. That, convert, he, him into a, a convert him into a tight end and just have him run goal line routes. That's it. But you already have Rudolph. So yeah, why do you need and, and you have David Morgan, David Morgan, who's good. But, yeah, no, I, D, F, yeah, my report card. Somewhere. He's in meat sauce territory. Yeah, that's uh, bad. Do you want to do individuals or defense as a whole? Uh, we can do it however you want. Let's but go. I, uh, yeah, go ahead. How would you say uh, Xavier Rhodes? Uh, F. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Looks like he's put on 40 pounds. Conduct last week, kicking the flag. Yeah, just the don't extra, do that. You're a leader. Of the game. Yeah. yeah, don't meet You're sauce. That's what I do. Yeah. Don't pout. Trey Who Waynes. Pouts? Trey Waynes, uh, so far, concussion protocol, probably won't play Sunday. Uh, uh, or, C. Yeah. He's been all right. He's been okay. I. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony Barr. F. Do you Anthony think Barr gets, is awful. Is he getting blamed too much, though, for Anthony Barr is the mistakes? worst guy on the defense. Oh. You know who I'd want back? E.J. Henderson. E.J. Henderson is our guest coming up here in the oh, second he segment. He's milling around out here somewhere, probably giving hugs, handshakes, and autographs. I'm going to say this, and I hope he laughs. E.J. Henderson, when he broke his leg in Arizona, is yeah. better than Anthony Barr. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You go that. You're, yeah, go, you're going out there. John Creasel is faster than Anthony Barr. <laughs> Do you have any other things that you want to say about yeah, uh, no. Anthony Barr? He just, and, but some of that <laughs> stuff can't be his fault. There's no way they yeah. put him on a line that he put him on a wide receiver. Right. He just the the the, the Josh Allen yes. touchdown. He looks well, and slow. Hurt, hurtling over yeah, him. Yeah, he just However, looks slow. Okay, I know this is going and back two weeks. And if he's hurt, I take it all back. Hey, this is going back two and weeks. And if he's here, I love you. But uh, he's not here. He Jay Henderson is here. Uh, two weeks ago, Josh Allen that hurtling play. The commentators were saying, was Barr frozen because the rule? Like, he was afraid to hit him helmet yeah, to helmet. He was afraid point. to try to put the boom on. Yeah. So he just stood there, and Josh Allen just goes right over the top, which is a great highlight uh, for Buffalo. Yeah, it'll be on there, you know, end Forever. of the highlight. Yeah, yeah. when yeah. they don't make the playoffs. Yeah. And um, they have the first overall pick because they're awful. They are pretty terrible. Uh, Zimmer, his quote, this isn't a time for what was me last year, 2-2. Two and two. They went on to be 13-3. and three. The year before that, 5-0, and oh, turned to 8-8. Eight and eight. So this isn't a great time to predict. Your thoughts on that quote? I think it's a weird quote. I think it's a. I think it's weird timing. I think he knows, and they all know that the problem now that they face is. I know it's early. I know they've only played four games. However many games they played, you have a pressure situation now. Everything starts to. Once you get into October, things start to. The 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 the, the, the margin for error gets smaller, and it's kind of like. Yeah. I mean, this is a weird way to look at it, but it's kind of like a grade point average. If you do really well early on. Yes. Good school you, comparison. You don't have to do as well when they count less right. yeah. as you get in there fewer. If you fall behind right. early, you, right. then you're right. somebody texting you and your, yeah, my your brother. smartwatch. Something and you're, stupid. I'm sure it's a Anyhow, conspiracy theory of some type. But, uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I, I think they, uh, they're they going to press, and uh, I have a really weird prediction for the when we get well, to the save end. Well, save the predictions yeah. for our picks at the end of the, end of the show. Uh, NFC Championship rematch. Does that mean anything to you that they're going to Philadelphia? No, no. It doesn't mean no. Philadelphia is a dump. Philadelphia is horrific. The fans and stuff that they did. You, I mean, didn't yeah. that guy eat horse manure? Yes, he did. I remember seeing that. I mean, I I've been you desperate, that but me. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty no. creepy. Uh, Carson Wentz, is he at top form? He's only played two games. Yeah, coming I back think, from his ACL. Yeah, yeah. You think he's Carson fine? Carson Wentz, was he the MVP? No, Brady was. He should have been. Yeah. Carson Wentz is phenomenal. Great dude. Wonderful football player. Yeah, he'll be fine. All right. Let's hope he doesn't get out and move around, because if he starts moving around, it could be a long time. Then day. we're in trouble. Yep. We'll do our picks here at the end of the show. But if you come here to Mystic Lake, you can score a round-trip ride to any home 
football game at the Vikings U.S. Bank Stadium for just five bucks. No parking, no traffic, no worries. Upon your return, you receive a $10 dining credit good at Mystic Lake Restaurant or at the Little Six Restaurant. You can book your $5 ride at Ticketmaster or you can call the Mystic Box Office, 952-496-6563. Obviously, on the road in Philadelphia today, but home games, U.S. Bank Stadium come here, five bucks gets 10. That's perfect. That's a win-win. You win -win. get paid to go. You get paid to go watch football yeah. and then it's come back and eat. It's a huge win-win so, situation. So, E.J. Henderson, you, uh, we've had him on our show. Yeah. What's your... Uh, the, the biggest memory that you have of him, obviously you already mentioned the breaking his femur. I'm sure he'll want to talk about that again. Uh, I think E.J. Henderson was just an all-around great He's linebacker. He's a good guy. He's one of the better linebackers the Vikings have had, and they've had some good ones. All right. He was dominant. I'm telling you right now, and I'll say it when he sits down here, if they had him in, in uh, the Saints game, they would have won. Yeah. Because then you have to rely on Ben that. Lieber, you're screwed. <laughs> all right. On that note, we welcome former linebacker E.J. Henderson to the stage. <laughs> Uh, Todd mentioned it in the first block when you broke your femur, and I said that's probably one of the most memorable moments, I hate to say it, of your career. <laughs> Does it, do people still talk to you about that, or are you like, nah, just let that go? All the time. Do they really? All the time. That's usually the first thing that comes up. Like, man, I watched the injury on YouTube. It was terrible. Da -da -da. I'm used to it now. Yeah. But obviously, I, I would rather people refer to my nine yeah. years I, that I put in yes. with the Vikings. And your Pro Bowl. Highlights. Yeah. So I might got to update that on YouTube, give them new uh, highlights that to look at. I, first thing you type up, I, I, I bet you EJ Henderson football is going to come up. My injury. It you might. Know? So it like might. all yeah. my five, four, four, four or five years in college, all what I did in the league, this well, is what this is what comes up. But it's all it's all yeah. good to understand. I mean, that was a great year too. And I I've said multiple times, say if you in that 09 game, I think they win. That, that was a that devastating one. injury oh, that for that football team. You can take team. credit for that, right? Shout out to my man Jasper Brinkley who held it down. He was a, he was a rookie, I think. So uh, that's yeah. an amazing. That's a crazy position to be put in. Uh, run a defense in the NFC Championship yeah, game. Yeah, that noise and all I'm, that, man. Yeah, please. Yeah. So, so this year. Uh, I hate to bring it back, but to the odd injury. So long snapper Kevin McDermott. Did you hear what happened to him? I did not. His pinky got caught in somebody else's face mask, mm. yanked off, mm. took him into the locker room, had to cut some of it off. And so actually I looked up not just the breaking the femur, but it says in 2008 you suffered dislocated toes. Oh, Do yeah. you remember when that happened? What did it feel like? How yeah. did it happen? We was playing in Carolina. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, had, I, had to, I had to sit out the first, I think they gave me the first series was my, was my, uh, my punishment sure. for being late to oh, okay. uh, me. Okay. So I always look back and be like, see, if you weren't late for the meeting, you could have started, you wouldn't have hurt your toe, yeah. you would have been there, you know. But anyway, so I was late to a meeting, I didn't start that game, I had on some new shoes, played. <laughs> And some one play, I just my toe just felt like wasn't it wasn't right. Yeah, like my toe just wasn't right. So I just kept pressing on it, you know, pressing on my big toe on my left. Kept pressing yeah. on it for like three or four plays, and finally I ran to the sidelines. He was like, "Yo, your toe was is not right. <laughs> your toe was out. Your toe. Was, we need to go in the back." Yeah. And after that, you know. What did it look uh, like when you took the spike off? Did could you tell when you saw it? You're like, "Oh yeah, oh, yeah oh, that's not. Oh, that's yeah. not normal." The knuckle was like oh. way to the side, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> but we dealt. We dealt with it. We had a business. Always, yeah. I give my shout out to Eric Sugarman. And he, the, he took care of you. The training staff. He does a great shout job. Out to him. Yes, sir. Oh, you see a team like this now, and the defense was so good last year, and now. Uh, it's not as good as it used to be. It can't just be one guy, right? Uh, nah, can't be one guy. Um, and I don't want to say they're not the same defense that they you know, were for last year. Mm -hmm. I think they got time to prove that they can still be in the top, one of the top five defenses. Uh, a defense that offenses really have to sit down and game plan and think about like they have been in the past you know, couple years. I think that's still there. I don't think any offensive coordinator is going to go to the meetings on Wednesday and say, well, you know, the Vikings defense, they fell off. Don't worry about it. We can put yeah, up 42 right. points. No, I don't think that's happening. I just think they're going through a process of learning, and eventually I think they'll get back to where they need to be because they had the key factors on each level, as I always yeah, say, on yeah. each level to, to bring them back to where they need to be. Linebackers, uh, you know, 
I was going to say, are they at the same level when you were playing, or would you say they're uh, the same or worse, better? You can say whatever you want. It's your opinion. Mm, the, the linebackers that yeah. we currently have. I'm, yeah, so I, you I think say. Kendricks definitely has a lot of potential. He's only been in the league four years. Four years? Yeah. This is fourth year, right? Yeah, that's right. I think so, yeah. Third or fourth year. So he, ha he, he has time to show and prove if he can live up to, you know, the linebackers that has come before him. Yeah. E.J. Henderson, Chad Greenway, Ben Lieber, you know? You. Uh, well, how, much do you think the, how much do you think the game has changed? Like Paul said, it seems like around the league the stats are up. It's a pass-happy league. Everybody's throwing it, like you said, arena football or video game. Does that change the role for linebackers? You guys used to be the stop the run first thing, but now with everybody throwing the ball so much, does that change things? I've been out the league for four years, okay. five years, so it's hard for me to say what's going on in the meeting room. Are they changing their defenses because of what the offense is doing? I don't know. But I would say that on when it comes to like the contact plays that I've been seeing lately, like on the tackles and the sacks and the flags, mm -hmm. I think that is a major change for a hard-hitting linebacker. What would you do about the new pa uh, roughing the passer rule that is in the NFL? I've seen, I seen somebody make a play um, this weekend, and when he hit the quarterback, when he hit him, he just kind of he just kind of let him go, and the quarterback fell down. Like he knew the quarterback was going down. He yeah. had a good shoulder hit on, and he just kind of let him go. He didn't do this. He just hit him and let him go and moved on. And I think that's kind of where it's going. And with the play with Clay Matthews a couple weeks ago, when he grabbed him, he it looked like it was a, it was a good tackle to me, like a good tackle on a quarterback who's about to throw the ball. You don't know if he's going to throw it or not because you're ready to tackle him. Yeah. You got your head down, so you can't see if he threw the ball or not. So that's the difference between Clay Matthews running down and digging in on him, which I still think was a clean play, and uh, um, the player who I don't know who it was this Sunday who when he hit the quarterback, he hit him, boom, good hit. But he just kind of like ran off and the quarterback fell to the ground. Yeah. So I think that's the distinction that the players got to make. I think they're doing a great job, a great job of not using their helmets mm -hmm. and using a lot of shoulder yep. contact. Yeah. If you watch all the games on Sunday, you'll see that's a big change that players are doing. You don't see a lot of boom, just straight helmet. Like yeah. that's how I was brought up. You know, come right. with your helmet first, like right. shoulder helmet. Yep. You don't see that no more. So that's. I did find a highlight package. You tackled a running back for the Bears. I tried to look up who it was. I think it was a fullback, number 37. You had a hit on him. And in real time, it, not helmet to helmet, but shoulder to his helmet. It popped his helmet off. He's laying on the ground. I don't know if, I don't remember that. Yeah, that was. Do you remember that hit? I definitely remember that hit. Wait, that is that the kind of, that's the kind of hitter you were. You think that you'd get a lot of flags in today's NFL? Oh, that would, have, that would definitely have been a penalty. Yeah. That would have definitely been a penalty. I had like a 15-yard running start, because we played it was cover two, right? Yeah. Where I got to get way back. I had a 15-yard running start, and I came in like this. This yeah. was my mission, yeah. to come in yeah. with my head and my shoulder to knock him out. Yeah. And eventually, I mean, he, he got knocked and out of the game. He was, that's not good. That wouldn't work. Good. No, that, yeah, would, that wouldn't work in today's no, NFL. Not no, it would not. I mean, so I got a smile at that. McKee, my bad. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we should talk about Sorry. tomorrow's NFL. We say yesterday's, today's. Yeah. You, you coach Co youth football. Yeah. And you were talking about how you were brought up. Lead with the helmet. Get it across the body. Use it for the tackle. Yeah. Obviously, today they're trying to teach people more lead with the shoulders. Mm -hmm. With coaching youth football, what do you see in the kids that play football today? Are they being taught? Uh, the Seahawk tack or the Hawk wrap, where you arms and roll with them or shoulder, but don't get your head in trouble. A tough practice to get adjusted to in two or three or four years. But I do see teams and young squads that are signed up for USA football. They are presenting that when they do their tackling drills. They're doing the Hulk get tackle, them. get across, grab your legs, roll, roll them. with them, yeah, yeah. all of that. So that's, that's all the plus. That's, yeah. that's all the plus. It comes from the NFL down. Any rules that you see that are effective, they always come from the NFL down. So the young kids, they, they, they getting it. You still got to see some kids when we're doing practices. You still see some kids that come in, they, boom, yeah. and just want you know, knock you somebody gotta, out. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, so it's still kids like that. You gotta, now you got to say, listen, it's a different game these days. Still go full speed. Come on, you can knock them out, but just leave with your shoulder. Yeah. Grab them, you know, dump them down, whatever. You just got to give them to them a different language. Everybody wants to be Sean Taylor. 
Man, that's a man. <laughs> man, man, man oh, see, rest in peace, man. Yeah. Listen, that, he was so crazy, good. So he was so good. But he would have been. Whew. Yeah. Oh yeah. He Every was, yeah. He was whew. so good. Yeah. He would have been. Yeah. He, they. He, he wouldn't have made it in today's pockets. NFL. Yeah. Yeah. He would have hit his pockets. But I still think that he would have succeeded and found no way. You know. Yeah. He made a lot of highlights. Sean Taylor yeah. was great. And he left yeah. us too early. He's a big. He got a pole. He got. He got his his jersey in my basement. People walk by like, who was that? Oh, all right. I tell. I tell you. Like, let me, <laughs> let, me, yeah, let, me yeah. show you some, let me show you some yeah. highlights. Thank Perfect. you so much for thank joining you, us, EJ. Ah, appreciate, appreciate it. Thank it. you for your time. Yeah, thank, you. thank you for thank signing you. the ball, yeah, the Mystic Lake yeah, ball, yeah, all of our yeah, guests this season. Yeah, He's already signed that. We appreciate it. Yeah. Now moving on to one of my favorite uh, segments that we've ever created, Would You Rather. I try to put you in a... We, you've created it. I, I like to put you... Well, Todd created it. It was a conglomeration between me and Todd. Okay. We, we came together. Scott, I think, was in it. I think it was a big meeting. Mm. Uh, the CW. Scott spends Everybody all his time there. with me. Uh, everybody was there except you, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I don't do much. Play okay. Madden, make trades. So, would you rather? I try to cry. put you in a very uncomfortable situation. You try to be honest. Sure. Uh, you can be funny with it. You can be serious with it. Uh, you are Paul Molitor. Would you okay. rather go on to manage another Major League Baseball team, take a different position with the Twins, or stay retired? After being fired. Uh, it depends. It depends on the team. I mean, if you're going to get another dead end job, but like, would you rather? Oh, I, I would. Would you say I want to get back in the game, or would you say Nah, I'm done? I'd probably you retire. I mean, you just got to have made so much money. Yeah, I'd stay retired. Yeah, he got the raw end of it with this team. He shouldn't have been fired. They would have fired him last year if he hadn't won Manager of the Year, because right. that's a total Twins thing to do is have the Manager of the Year be fired. Yeah. So. I don't understand. Falvey and Levine, it's like they don't understand Minnesota sports fans' culture. Well, what Tom are they Kelly, do? Gardy, you keep people, longevity right. matters here. Yeah, what are you going to do? Is a local guy, legend, Hall of Famer. Yeah. And then they say, nah, gone. I don't uh, know what they're going to do. It's going to make a lot of people yeah, mad. It'll be weird. Uh, you are Joe Maurer. Okay. Would you, would you rather have stayed catcher and be a surefire Hall of Famer? Or would you have moved to first base just to lengthen your career? I think he's a surefire Hall of Famer regardless. Really? Yeah, he's a three-time batting champ as a catcher. No one nice. else has done that. Don't worry, it's your watch. It's okay. Yeah, it's my mom. It's not going um, anywhere. Um, yeah, he's, yeah, I think he's a surefire Hall of Famer to begin with. The moment last week with the catching thing was unbelievable. Tears. Uh, yeah. Everywhere. I, yeah. My dad cried harder than that than he did, I think, at the births of my brother and I. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think he's a surefire Hall of Famer wherever. I hope he comes back for a year, but he won't. Do you think they would want to keep him for another year? No, he's think... retiring. Right, but yeah. even if he said, uh, do you think that the Twins would fall behind? Yeah, Levine I think if they, they would have, have said, to. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah, See, who are they going to play first base? Been, they Sano? Kind of, they kind of just pushed him out and said, you can be with somebody else, but who we don't want you. Who are they going to have play yeah. first? Sano? Sano? Probably. Where else is... they got a lot of holes. He, he's done so good uh, over at third, and he's stayed in such physical shape. You, he's you in worse shape than I am. You could be his trainer. No. Yeah, I'm the worst. I take. I took three naps today. <laughs> uh, you are Jimmy Butler. Would you rather patch things up with Tibbs and the Timberwolves, and see? There's caveats here, and make the playoffs in the West, or would you rather go to Miami, max out your contract, and miss the playoffs and play in the East? Well, the thing about me, if I'm Jimmy Butler, is my plan starting to to deteriorate because. Earlier this week, there's news coming out that Kyrie Irving said he plans on staying long-term in Boston. In Boston, yes. So his whole plan when he first came out with these three teams to to was them, yeah. one of them was where they can have two max salaries where Kyrie Irving can come play with him. He's staying in Boston. So that's backfired. I, I would stay with the Wolves. Yeah. I mean, they're the best team you're going to go to on this short of notice. Now, Absolutely. just like last year when they, brought in Ricky, when they traded Ricky Rubio and then this Kyrie Irving stuff comes out, if, they, if Kyrie Irving had said, I want to be traded in the middle of July or June, he'd probably be a Timberwolf because yeah. they would have traded Riccio and other pieces to get oh. him. Riccio, Rick, Ricky Rubio. Riccio? You can call him Riccio. Yeah, but That's they would have nickname. traded other pieces to get him. So now they, they're kind of in this weird spot, but I would stay here. Yeah, I think it's his best option, yeah, too. I don't, Although, yeah, I don't do think you think he he's burned too many bridges? Do you think uh, it's it too late for that? Here's the thing, though. We've never heard him say any of it. That's true. That's the only saving grace that well, he can come out with and go, I didn't say any of that, yeah. even though he did. And because the team will want him, they'll, they'll stick by him. Social media, he's putting a, he's still working out at the as the team is traveling. For yeah, preseason. well, they're not there, though. No, that's because they're gone. Yeah. But, so I get it. But he, Yeah, that's like going to your ex's house when she's not there. Uh, 
Doesn't mm. make any sense, yeah. but awkward. Uh, uh, Major League Baseball this year, 17 of the 30 teams, their attendance dropped, yeah. including the Twins, who had their worst year since Target Field opened. Would you rather be MLB Commissioner uh, Rob Manfred or former MLB Commissioner Bud Selig, who had to deal with the uh, popularity and yet the fallout due to the steroid era? Would you rather, rather have be attendance Bud problems or steroid problems? Steroid problems, because yeah. when there was steroid problems, baseball was sweet. People 98, watched. the yeah. Sammy Sosa-Mark McGuire thing was the greatest season I've ever seen of Everybody baseball. Everybody watched baseball. Everybody watched baseball. Their yeah. ratings were beating football. Yeah. Everybody watched baseball. Plus, isn't Bud Selig worth like $40 billion? So you'd isn't rather he? be Bud. Yeah. Nice. Even though he looks like Mr. Peanut got stepped on, but yeah. <laughs> he's hideous. Yeah, he's not a good-looking man. No. I've seen him in line at like a Milwaukee you grocery were, store. Really? Yeah, Milwaukee's got like this weird vibe where like everybody just kind of roams free. Did you go up and ask him for an autograph no, or a no, selfie? No, or? no. Autographs no. are not for adults. All right. Autographs are for kids. <laughs> Um, today was, or this last week, there was a holiday that was two things. It was National Taco Day and National Vodka Day. So would you rather celebrate National Taco Day or would you celebrate National Vodka Day? Uh, by the looks of my body, it looks like I celebrate National Taco Day every day. <laughs> uh, vodka. I love vodka. Vodka's your, oh, uh, really? Yes. Yeah. Your drink I, of choice. I can't tell. I used to drink gin. Yeah. I can't tell the last time I drank gin. Really? Tito soda with a lemon, uh, lime, lemon. Yeah. Oh, it's all year round. I'll drink more all right year now, round. Just yeah. thinking about it. Maybe a splash of lemonade, depending on how spicy I feel. But spicy. Oh, I love spicy sauce. I, I that, love uh, good vodka. Yeah, not your. Uh, I would rather be sober <laughs> if all I had to drink was rail. Yeah. I'd, I wouldn't drink. You gotta have a. No. <laughs> no. I'm flushed with cash, man. I'm drinking expensive booze. I like it. Uh, cheese, as you said last year. Yeah, cheese. cheese you got cheddar. Of cheese. Yeah, cheddar. Coin. Oh, yeah, cheddar. yeah. Uh, okay, time for our picks. Okay. What do you think? You're going to go Vikings or you're going to go Eagles? I'm going to go the Vikings. They had kind of a mini bye oh. week. Yeah. I think they can win. Philly, Philly wasn't Philly up like 17 to 3 on yeah, the and Titans they and they Tennessee. lost? Yeah. The Vikings are a better team than the Titans. They just haven't shown it. They have to win. This is a must-win game. I don't it care. Isn't. It's it a, isn't. No, yeah, no, they can't isn't. go one, three, and one. Yeah, they can. No, they've got the Jets. And if the they go one in the next two weeks, they had the they Bills. To, I, I know. If but, they go one, three, and one, I'll bet you any amount of money they won't make the playoffs. Well, any amount of money with all your cheddar or my boots. You or, can have my my boots. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pick the Eagles just to be opposite of you, and I think that the Vikings. I do think that they're in an upswing. I think Philadelphia is kind of. Eh. I think this is gonna be the game. It's gonna be just like last week. It's gonna be. 38, 31, something like that. I hope you're wrong. Our defense is just going to be bleh. Yeah. All right. What a, what a happy note to end it on. Yeah, well, you got negative. Well, don't pick I the, let you pick don't first. Pick the Eagles. I have to be opposite Philadelphia of you. Philadelphia sucks. All right, that's going to do it for this week. We'll see you back here next week.